And so Debbie's going to tell a story as to, we're going to wind back the clock a bit. And we're going to wind back the clock back to uh, the 10th of August, four months ago, four months ago today. And I'd like to know what did this firm look like uh, ten months, uh, four months ago, right before we met on the 10th of August. Give us, give us a quick summary of what it looked like. Uh, well, we have two offices, and uh, I felt like I was in it on my own. I had all of my team, but to me, team meant they work as a team to get the work done. Uh, we were doing no business advisory services. Um, I'm, I was making a good living. Everybody seemed to be happy, um, but I knew there was something big in me that I wanted more. But I didn't have anybody to talk to. Except my husband, and he was like, whatever you want to do, babe, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, what was the size of the firm, uh, headcount revenues, uh, before we met four months ago? Okay, we had, um, we had two offices. We had 11 people, and uh, three of them were admin, and one is me. And then we were doing about 850000 a year gross. And uh, net before salary, before my salary, only went twenty. Okay. So it was, all, it was all consumed in overhead. Right, and terrible, horrible receivables. Right. Like 130,000. Right. Yeah. Okay, worse than yours, Dwayne. Worse than yours, Dwayne. Right. <laughs> so, um, uh, and how long have you been at this thing for up until we met you four months ago? I started in 1987 out of my basement by myself and scratched and clawed and built it up to where it was. And uh, they have a thing called Book of Lists in Colorado Springs from the Business Journal, and uh, last year we were number 10, the 10th largest accounting firm, which I was very proud of. Now we're number five, but I still wasn't making any money. <laughs> so, so it was the largest by, uh, I think you told me last night, largest by people, by not, people. By, not by revenue or right. profit, right? So, right. Okay, so what, why did you attend this event uh, four months ago? I got either an email or a mailer that said, that I should be making a million dollars profit, and that was what it took. Um, I took uh, Shauna with me, she's one of my uh, enrolled agents, and I told her, you come with me because I am not buying anything, because this has got to be some kind of a scam. A scam, really a scam. Yeah, so. got, he's from Australia, you know, those guys. <laughs> Who knows what this And he wears is. yellow shoes. <laughs> So I just was, I was very, very skeptical, but then, you know, one of the first things you said when we got down there was to just listen and trust. Trust the process. Trust the process. And yeah. So. Cool. So uh, if we can summarize, in business for 25 years, doing uh, busy ads, because uh, I think you're busy, uh, but what was your personal productive time as well? Oh gosh. Well, during tax season, I was working 16 hour days. Oh, so wow. yeah, I wasn't having much fun. Making no money, 120 grand. Yeah. Uh, time for change. Yes. All right. So that was four months ago. Fast forward to today. Uh, what does this firm look like? What's the energy in the firm? You know, we'll get into the, the step by step what you've done in a minute. But we want to have some questions as well from the floor. What uh, What does it look like today? How different is it four months later? Because four months not a lot of time. Not a lot of time, but we've put a lot of effort. Uh, we've made major, major changes. Uh, we put up a video feed between the two offices yep. so that we could build that team and communication between the two offices where they were all feeling like it was them and against each other. Uh, we do daily huddles every morning at 8.07 a.m. We're we'll into the detail at the moment oh, of what you've been doing, but uh, tell us about some of the results you've had. Uh, well, yeah. we've had a 23% increase in our revenue. That's a good start. And uh, a zero increase in our receivables. So. That's a good start. <laughs> Has it come down any? And, and, well, not because of, I mean, mostly because people won't pay and so we've had to write, write it off, but um, the fact that it hasn't gone up, because the first thing we implemented was pay up front. Yep. And so all the new business that we've brought in has been pay up front. So we've taken our score from uh, 80 to 172 in four months flat, right? so that's awesome. We've got our revenues up, uh, is that like year on year revenue from last year or what have you got? What are you no, that's an increase in four months. And for 23% yeah. on what you were last year. Right. right so that can continue on. Um, what about as far as the, what it looks like now, as far as the energy with the team and then their commitments to the whole process? Uh, the energy with the team is amazing. Everybody, when we first came back from Kickstart, 
we rolled it out to the whole team, and of course, none of them knew what we were talking about, but we were very excited, and enthusiasm is uh, very contagious, and they're all very excited about all the changes that are going on. There was one person who wasn't excited about the change, and you told me I couldn't fire her by email, so I let her go the day we got back. I told her it was time. I wanted to afford her the opportunity to expand her future. Oh, lovely. That's so. beautiful. <laughs> so we've got rid of a person. Yeah. Um, Hired two new great girls. Two of them yeah. here today. Uh -huh. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and we're still growing our revenue in four months flat by 23%. And we're just getting started. Right. Right, so this is like some early yardage. Uh, what about uh, results in, in margins, for example? You know, so if I recall, your average hourly rate was pretty low, uh, below $100 when we saw you four months ago. Right. I think our, um, we've had some pretty big wins, uh, just learning the small things that we've learned so far, uh, changing the price strategy and uh, pricing up front, um, value pricing, I'm still a little afraid of that, and but I like the, the new analogy of fear because it's all in my head. Yep. Um, this new project that we're getting ready to price out, I'm not throwing the prices out immediately, and then going, oh, I shouldn't have done that, right? So I'm taking more time uh, determining what the value is. Um, but everybody's so excited about it, and they want this to be a great tax season. And, and they've decided that I was the weak link as far as getting work out the door. So they decided, Kathy's back there shaking her head, yeah, that was you, um, that they're not going to make me do the work anymore, which is awesome, because I'm much better at steering the ship and meeting with clients and big picture. So if, we were to, if this story was a couple of years out um, from first interaction, it would be a vastly different result. But now we're still getting lots of good early runs, early yardage, early wins in four months flat. Right. Let's go into the how, right? So what have you actually been doing the last four months? So you go to this program, firm and now, then you did that two-day business planning workshop, Kickstart in Chicago. But outside of that, you've been working with our team mm -hmm. uh, in the Magnify program, what have you been actually implementing? So you talk about price up front, that's done. Uh, price increases, uh, what else have you been doing? Um, price up front, pay up front. Pay up front, yep. And uh, we did the price increase the day we got out of uh, Phoenix. That was because you had me on stage and I started crying because it was just such an emotional thing to see that we can make a change in everybody's life. But uh, we've done, we do a huddle every morning at 8.07. We've implemented the theme structure. What's your theme for the quarter? Our theme for the quarter is new life, uh, new phase, because our company's name is Phases. And our goal is for everybody to get all their learning hub things done. Uh, we implemented a new CRM software called Office Tools Professional or Office Tools Workspace, which is very, very complicated. So everybody has to get all that trained. Uh, we implemented the Elevate. We got everybody in Elevate. Um, about 2,400 prospects, and every new person that calls in, we're putting them into Elevate as well. And that's actually turning over a lot better than I had even hoped. Um, what else have we done? I think you said your cloud clients connect to Panelix already? Right, we've got all our cloud clients connected. Which, and, which uh, of the Learning Hub programs have you done internally? We've done, um, well, the group has done, their task is knowledge, uh, or the, uh, Work, work, 18, I, the I work, 18 step workflow process, um, pricing power, and efficiency. Correct. So those are the three that I tasked everybody to get done before the end of the year. Yeah. I've done probably half of them. Okay. So because I do it every morning. Yeah. Um, Have you started with the um, uh, the clients doing the, the goal setting meetings that we spoke of today? I haven't started. Haven't yet. started yet, no. right? So is it fair to say most of your projects are internal so far? Yes. Yeah, great. So what um, what do you think is going to happen this tax season coming up by implementing what you've been implementing? Well, I think I'm not going to work 16 hours a day. That's awesome. That's good. Um, and I'm, I think the clients are going to like the fact that they get to spend more time with me. And instead of doing the work myself, uh, the staff will be taking it because they'll have more uh, uh, capacity to be able to do things. And I think it's going to make it easier for us to sell more services because they've never had the opportunity to sit with me. Yep. You know, it's like a 30 minute tax meeting that's in and out, being bang, you're done. And then my office coordinator was uh, rolling out the tax return at the end. I wasn't even talking to the people at the end anymore. 
So I think they're gonna see a big value there in addition to uh, all the new things that we've added with analytics and that. What, um, what was the price increase you did after the firm of Dow event? What did you put the price up by? Um, well, our bill, we were doing an hourly rate of 95 and I bumped it to 300. And then I chickened out and took it down to two. <laughs> <laughs> you still doubled it though. Yeah, still doubled, doubled it. And, uh, and so that's been good. We're getting a little blowback, but like I said, the people that are drop-in are people that weren't making us any money and didn't really want to do anything else anyway. Um, we used to really target startups, and after Firma Now, I'm like, well, that doesn't really make any sense because most of them don't have any money and they don't know what they're doing, and they don't listen, so there's no reason to do that. So we're gonna we're changing the focus to different client in different niches. So. What advice would you give a new firm like today? Because today's Firma Down, because uh, you've just by the sound of it. Uh, just taken it by the horns and just got stuck into it. Yeah, I'm a little fanatical when it comes to things like this. If you make me spend my money, I'm gonna get my money's worth. Yeah, sure, so. got it. <laughs> you pay for many times over. Yeah, that's right. Um, the, the first thing I would say is do totally raise your prices because you can absorb the fee very easily and nobody's gonna even squawk at all. Um, I'm looking for my notes, sorry. Um, I would say keep your mind open and uh, know that they're, you know, we've been doing things the same way all these years and just because there's every other accounting firm in town or in the state or in the country is doing it that way doesn't mean that's the right way and we're the new way, we're going to be the ones that are going to change it and they're going to be wanting to know what we're doing. I've already had two CPA firms call me and go, what is this we hear about value pricing? How do you do value pricing? And I'm like, I couldn't tell you, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll have to figure it out on your own. But opening, keeping an open mind and, and getting everybody involved, um, bringing my team on board and uh, being transparent with my numbers, I've never done that before. Um, I think it, it lets everybody know how important they are to me and how important they are to the growth of the company. Um, there's way more than compliance work. Believe you're worth it and not any, no accountant is as good as you are, so you might as well carry yourself that way. Awesome. And do this because it works. It just works. <laughs> Please give Debbie a round of applause.